Hello guys and welcome back. Uh, in this episode we're going to touch base with Dave again and see how his project's going. It's been a little while, um, he's had a lot of work done, and um, specifically some machine work. So we're going to be talking with Dave about that and then maybe just reviewing some of the parts that he's received. Hey Dave, welcome back. Hey. How are you doing then? Doing good. Things are going okay? They're going, uh, they're going pretty good. My goal uh, was to have the whole engine together and the bike running before the OVM Corvallis show. <laughs> well, we saw that that's already passed and, well, <laughs> didn't quite make that. But we'll keep going this summer and, and keep working on this bike and get it back together as quickly as possible. It takes longer than you expect, doesn't it? You know, you're waiting for parts, you've got machine work, you've got cleaning, and so, and life yes. gets in the way as yeah. well. So Just like all projects, they always seem to take a lot longer than what you've actually planned it for. Yeah. Unless you're, you know, a project manager, then it always works on, out perfectly. <laughs> right. I've put um, information about the Corvallis show as well in the description of this video. Uh, this this year's featured mark was Triumph, so actually just only a couple of Nortons, I think, were there. But some of those Triumphs were really nice. As we kind of put all the uh, parts together and we look at what kind of things uh, are left to do, uh, we, we got the barrel, the bar I got the barrel painted, so that's ready to go. Uh, and now everything's just kind of matter just putting pieces together like a giant jigsaw puzzle. And you're going to show us the crankcases as well and some of the work that you've had done then. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Hope you'll enjoy it, guys, and uh, we'll speak to you again soon. Okay. See ya. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the 72 Combat, uh, there is several ways to address the apparent oiling issue, and the oiling can cause all kinds of uh, problems. Some people have claimed that the, the super blends weren't actually a problem, but it was actually an oiling issue. And so we'll look at these cases and show you a couple different ways that people have kind of approached them. These cases here were modified prior to me getting them. And what you see is the windage tray here has been cut away quite a bit and what that does is exposes this as a return now for the oil pump and what they've done here in this particular case is actually sealed up with this set screw the original uh, oil return hole and this is now the new one because of the exposed flange and we'll look at that in a second now keeping in mind uh, in a commando your engine actually sits at quite an angle. And so this is the lowest point uh, in the engine case, which is good as long as you're not moving. Keep in mind that you've got a crankcase circling extremely rapidly, throwing oil to the back of the crankcase. And that's why some people feel that the oil pickup, moving the oil pickup to the back is actually beneficial on these engines. This crankcase follows that same type of method. You can see that the windage tray has been cut away, machined away to expose that oil passage. This one hasn't been cut away quite as significantly as the other one, but there's still material removed. Some people remove this windage all the way across, but that uh, exposes the breather to the oil being flung back. So I prefer to leave as much of the windage po as possible here. Now as we talked about oil and how it travels through this engine, a lot of this uh, information came from Jim Comstock and we'll provide a link in the bottom to uh, Jim's uh, YouTube or web page. <clears throat> One of the things that he discovered is that on a stock oil return, which is here, on these engines. As that engine's tilted forward, you have a lot of oil in the timing case. And much like your primary, you don't really need a lot of oil to keep the, everything bathed here. So what Jim recommends and other folks have done is to actually drill a much lower oil return hole. You can see where we've done that. And you'll see it in the video as we actually did the drilling on the milling machine. And what that does is 
allows the oil level to be much lower in the timing case, reducing the drag in this area and still providing plenty of oil. And you can see here where that new drain hole is. The other aspect of all of this uh, engine work is how do you get the engine to breathe correctly? There's different philosophies on that also. In this case, what we're going to do is get the engine to breathe properly out the back of the engine through the original 72 combat hole. In order to do that, we actually want to try to blank off as much of the timing case as we can so we keep as, uh, as little pressure in the, both the crankcase and the timing case. We'll actually end up blanking off the, and plugging the holes that go into the crankcase from here. So one being here and another one Where's the, oh, we'll actually blank off the oil return um, and any other places that we need to. <clears throat> and that will actually separate the as much as possible the timing case from the crankcase. Another philosophy on how to breathe is actually to breathe through the timing case in which you want the holes through to into the crankcase. Uh, it, you have to keep in mind though, there's quite a bit of pressure coming through those tiny little holes and you're not gonna get the most efficient breathing possible. Again, it's a different preference for different folks. So we got, we've got all the parts laid out here. Uh, we've got the barrels painted, so they're ready to go. Um, the crankcases still haven't been cleaned properly after their vapor blasting, so that'll get done. Uh, and now we've just uh, put it together like a giant jigsaw puzzle.